chopping off the locks. Sad day. You'll feel better after. Maybe. It'll be really sad. Or the two. I don't know. <laughs> So today is our first year wedding anniversary and our third day in Disneyland. One year married life. Our final day, we're gonna finish out strong. Yeah, finish strong. No passing out in the middle of the day because it's already four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> and we slept for 12 hours last night. So, gonna California scream this bitch. And yep. then food Plain reservation. Bitch. And then uh, celebrate our one year of marriage. Made it. The big one. Survived. <laughs> Survived year one. She's gonna lose her flip flops. Basically. 
but we still have a shit ton of time left till we get back. Language. And <laughs> I'm sleepy. Chris is pounding monsters like they're going out of business. Giant ones. This one's so big it's got a lid. Yeah. Which can't be healthy. I don't support this, but I'm also very sleepy. Can't drive myself. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Back to normal life. No more Disneyland. <laughs> Yesterday was a long journey. Um, we did it a lot quicker than we got there. It took us like nearly 25 hours to get there when we drove the first time. It took us about 16 to get back. God knows what we were doing on the way there. <laughs> I'm currently on the way to Salem. However, as you guys can notice, I have shaved down a deer. Uh, however, I'm not very good at it. Look at the state of my neck. I just fancied something a little bit different. Give my face a little bit of time to breathe because I was starting to get a bit of spots. But uh, I kind of think I look like Joey Barton. Uh, football player, soccer player. Uh, used to play for Newcastle. He's hilarious on Twitter. If you don't know who he is, definitely check him out on Twitter. He's, he's a funny man. <laughs> and a reckless soccer player. He's uh, my type of guy. This song's amazing, by the way. It's uh, Gordier. Hard to miss. It's off the the Great Gatsby soundtrack, which actually is a really good soundtrack, and uh, the film's really good as well. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Me and Case went and seen it ages ago now. I've seen it a couple times on DVD, but I was a bit hesitant about going to see it. And Case was like, "You'll like it." And, well, what can I say? My wife knows this. It was a good film. I enjoyed it. So, I just got to see him to Willamette, to the university I work at. I am. Um about 45 minutes early from my meeting so shoes in hand water bottle and this is what I don't get about people saying that they never get time to work out I'm about to go in the gym probably going to spend 25 to 30 minutes maximum inside of it and then we come and come out sweating tired and having a great workout let's see how intense I can get this in 25 minutes yeah so Corvallis is for a better word lack of a better word sorry weird <laughs> I've lived here since the 1st of February now, um, so five months, Casey's lived here a month extra than me, and I just think everyone in Corvallis is, has, not that it's, Corvallis is a really nice place, like it's small, you can get everywhere, like it's awesome, like the university's really cool here, and for the most part, everyone here is pretty cool, and they're nice, but then I think it says more about me than it does about Corvallis, that I find it an issue that everyone is too nice. Like, it's like everyone's soft. Like, not soft in the sense that they can get beat up, soft in the sense that they haven't ever been in a re in the real world. Like, in the situations where it would, where you would need to be hard in certain, in certain places. Like, everyone here just doesn't care. This is the sort of place you can leave your car doors open and your front doors open, and no one will come in and burgle your house or anything like that. I guess it's a little bit, a little bit strange for me. And the case is the same as well. But, uh, yeah. But I put this down to that everyone in everyone in Corvallis, everyone that is from Corvallis lives in Corvallis. Not not students and stuff like that, but the actual Corvallians. I don't even know if that's a real word. I just made that up. Um, they are all hippies, regardless if they're 100% hippies or 1% hippies. All of them have got hippie in them, and no one seems to just care. Like nothing is an issue here. Which is that I'm not saying that's I'm not saying this is a negative. I'm just saying this is it's different. Like it's a positive that everyone's chilled and happy. But man, from the places I the place I've lived and the places like Casey's lived and the previous place in America where we live, like there's a whole different world here. Like people just smile and make conversation with you in the grocery store. I don't even know these people. Hey, -oh. hello, Corvallis. I got that as well. This is a moment to go down in history. We're uploading our first vlog to YouTube. You'll Ooh. probably see this in the third vlog. <laughs> or the fourth. Or the fourth. Clicking publish. Where's the, where the? Right here. Click it. Dun, 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 dun. It's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anticlimactic. Don't worry about my life. <laughs> 
we don't know what the hell we're doing when it comes to uploading videos. Yeah.